Nice. <laughs> now it's a picture of me and you on a unicorn. Chitty, that's Garbisi. It's uncanny. Now that we live together, Ellie and I were getting tighter every day. She wasn't great at practical jokes. But still, we've become inseparable. Cities. Go ahead and touch him. The safety's on. <laughs> I keep getting lightheaded and passing out, but you haven't seen it because it only happens when I yell. No problem. Newbie, quick, tell him a story. Lay off, Bob, okay? I'm still pretty upset about this whole Julie thing. I... You know, in high school once, there was a... Hope that hurt. Totally worth it. Now, I need one of you two clowns to do a neurological workup on this guy. It's going to be a giant pain in the ass. Hmm. Maybe. Looks like it's you. All the best. Damn, those roll the blades. Okay, everybody, let's gather around. After six months on the job, some interns can become completely overwhelmed. Where's Rex? He's gone fetal again. Put a blankie on him. I've got it. Unfortunately, young Keith had become competent so quickly that every word out of his chiseled mouth came tainted with an arrogant smugness that he couldn't hide no matter how hard he tried. Is there anything else I can do, Dr. Dorian? Right on cue. No, Keith. All I need right now is a sip of your coffee to make me feel warm in my belly. Oh, Keith, look what you did! Yeah. Dr. Dorian, take my shirt. You think you're better than me? With your rock-hard abs and your dynamite areolas? Well, you're not. Dr. D, what's on your back? Those, Jason, are the panicked scratches of the adolescent raccoon, who, until animal control can get into my home, is currently residing in my sock drawer. To clear my head, I decided to give scooter blading a try. I got this! Got it, Grandma! Okay. <laughs> That was close. I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. You okay, Dr. Dorian? Keith, it's like you're begging me to hate you. I don't feel like I am. You can't stop, can you? <laughs> no big tada. We were both edgy because our favorite patient, Mrs. Wilk, had developed a lung infection and needed to be intubated for a week. So basically, we had to put her in a coma. Of course, at her age, there's always a good chance she'll never wake up. A whole week of sleep. You're going to have some killer bedhead. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm sorry. I love bedhead. Look, Marge, the patient should not have to be braver than you. Go easy on him. He's my fella. Now listen, if this doesn't work, I want you to just let me go. Don't let me linger. Even though you'd think we'd all be used to this kind of stuff by now, when a patient's been around for a while, it gets to everyone, no matter how long you've been here. Jonathan, you're a surgeon. When did you ever deal with Mrs. Wilk? You're not extending your arm. It's called pop and lock, Christopher, not pop and dangle. Okay. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Get in there, baby. Okay. <laughs> you're getting in there. I'll see you later. Oh, Michael. I'll see you later. Oh, Michael. She changed my life. All right, here we go. We'll see you in a couple days. Let's hope so. Everyone has their own way of getting stuff off their mind. Some people like to work it off. Others try to drink it away. For me, I had heard that the piercing girl at the mall was easy. Thanks for penciling me in. Mm -hmm. Maybe later you can show me where else you're pierced. Why wait till later? All right. 
I feel so close to you right now. What are you guys doing down here? We were so bummed about Mrs. Wilkes that we inhaled six gallons of ice cream. Would you tell Dr. Kelso to make this gym more female friendly? Yeah, there's like no equipment for women down here. Yeah. You know where there's all kinds of equipment for women? Toddland. Danny, Todd, what did I tell you about talking like that around my wife? Wait until she leaves and then say it? Exactly. You're welcome. Saving the seat for your ex-wife? No, no, she, uh, she's over there. Do you know that guy pointing at us? No. You should fight him. One rule. No yapping. The only thing I want to hear is the sound of my liver drunkenly singing rugby songs. No, no, I'm not even here. Seriously. I shipped to the hospital and then for three hours. I hate that place and everyone in it. I'll drink the hate. <laughs> you know, you know what else I hate about Kelso? Hmm. His hair smells like a pet store. Oh, actually, that's my fault. I filled his hairspray can with dog sweat. Dogs don't sweat. No? No. What the hell am I putting in there? Pear, we're giving Bobby a ride home. Mm. Say goodnight to your girlfriend. I'm sure he'll be here tomorrow. Mm. I will. Not that it matters. Not that I care. Hey! <laughs> Door closes at midnight! Ugh! I gotta go. Yep. I tell you, I am done trying to pick up the random ladies because every time I do, I end up with a bunch of face holes and an emerald stud in my peep, which I'm keeping. Dude, you're surrounded by female interns who do anything to get with the big bad attending. Make a booty call. He's right. People have been making booty calls since the dawn of time. Kronk, why are you going now? Oh, hey, you're up. Um... Look, I, I don't know what you're looking for, but I just got out of a really tough relationship with this girl, Debbie. Also, my sister was carried off by a giant bird, so we've all been in mourning about that. And um, my brother ate my foot. But you are just fantastic. The things you were doing last night, they were, well, crazy. <laughs> okay, so uh, when I clear my own stuff up, I'd love to maybe get back together with you. Hungry! Okay, I should really go. You know what? I'll do it. If my partner in crime here will join me. Oh, J.D., booty calls are pathetic. More pathetic than emailing your high school boyfriend to see if his marriage is holding up. Hello? Black Hanson. <laughs> Carla, my Gorski wrote keep in touch in my yearbook, and that's all I'm doing, okay? <laughs> yes, he did say that his wife Carol is his soulmate, and yes, they have adorable twins, but he also said that he wishes she knew how to gay. So let's just see if they're together come winter. Yes, J.D., I will do this with you. Oh. Dr. Kelso. Where, uh, where's your wife going? He's going to go ask Dr. Kelso if we can get some equipment for women in the gym. Oh, that is so nice. My baby's learning. Huh. Oh! Are you crazy? Why would you want your wife in the gym? Because unlike you, I don't hate my wife. Yet. You don't hate your wife yet, but think about it. Huh? You go to work, she's there. You go out, she's there. And when you go home, where is she? There. Ding! Women are everywhere. Except for the gym. That's why it's such a magical place. Don't ruin that. Don't be that guy. Come on, you're so much more than that. I'm begging you. I'm, uh, I'm actually saving that for someone. Well, oh, that's not allowed. Oh, fair enough. Save. That's a real nice pantsuit, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. It's 40% off. I'd say you swing by my place and see if we can't get it 100% off. Had to be done. Thanks, Chief. I got your next one. I'll mention it. So I'm late because Dorian parked his scooter behind my new van. Mm. Practically punctured a tire backing over the thing. Kid drives me crazy. A new van, huh? Well, you blew up the old one over a bet, remember? Right. Well, Dorian drives me crazy, too. Uh, well, you can do that. Stole this from his locker. I come back here a couple times a week and just move stuff around, turn off his alarm, maybe cut his bangs. Now, you're clearly in need of help, but gosh darn it, I'm not going to give it to you. How the sound of sleeper you think he is? Well, watch this. Why? So what now? Naked. Excellent. 
important my funeral. After paying the janitor the unreasonable sum of $90 to move my bed back home, Elliot and I decided to round up our interns so we could pick out our respective booty calls. Welcome to Fuglyville. JD, I really don't want to do this. Can't we just go home and put on our PJs and watch Grey's Anatomy? Oh, I do love that show. It's like they've been watching our lives and then just put it on TV. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Carla listened at the door while I was helping Turk ask Dr. Kelso for gym equipment. What do you want? And then Turk lied. Sir, we're here on behalf of Dr. Bianca. You know, the uh, albino radiologist? Oh, Jim! Who'd you get pregnant this time? I tell you, the ladies cannot resist that ivory rascal. Sir, Jim is demanding that he gets new equipment in his lab. Demanding? There is no way in hell that Jim is getting new equipment. Sorry, baby. I tried. Has there been any change? She's still the same. I guess in the back of my mind, I was hoping for a pleasant surprise. Because around here, most of them are unpleasant. Like when a guy you thought you connected with suddenly turns on you. Hey, how's the day treating big guy? You're not talking to me, are you, Doogie? Doogie. This is a doctor no-fly zone, bub. Speaking of flies, yours is down. <laughs> oh, no! You fell for that great school singer! You gotta go. Back to the game, boys. would not believe how hard yeah. my man fought for us. Well, you know, ladies, I do what I do <laughs> when I do what I do. <laughs> or your boss blows your cover. Dirk Lieutenant, I have reconsidered your request and I've decided to give old Jim that new MRI machine. <laughs> See, baby, no, wait. Of course, my surprise came the next morning when I found out Elliot had broken our no booty call agreement with my nemesis. Why is he wearing my robe? Fits me. JD, I can explain. Oh, you did it twice! Alrighty, somebody's a stud. We got a stud alert in here. Woo! 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 Okay. This is just mathematically impossible. Mm. Keith, Dr. Dorian and I have to go to work now, okay? So why don't you just clean all this up and then drop off my laundry and then go get me a coffee and bring it to the hospital. Run along, cook like a bunny. Sure thing, Elliot. Keith, it's after nine. It's Dr. Reed now. Dr. Reed. <laughs> Dr. Reed. I love booty calls. <laughs> El Toro Grande? I'm not familiar with this brand. No change. Our FIO2 is still 50%. I said no cream. I didn't say no cream. It's like having a sex puppy. What's your problem? I gotta tell you, I can't stand that guy. JD, he's just a booty call. Say the word and I'll end it. I'd appreciate it if you'd end it. Oh my god, you've turned Keith into forbidden fruit. I must have him now. Here. Oh, hey, bud. Check out my new mop bling. Bling. It's cool. I cleaned it. Oh, so what, now we're pals again? I gotta be honest with you, I'm a little confused there, Sasquatch. I got a rep to protect, okay? I'm sort of seen as the king of the working folks. If they catch me hobnobbing with a doctor type, well, suffice it to say, I won't get my cut of all the prosthetics we looted from the storage room. How's that? We sell the feet to college kids for 500 bucks a pop. Apparently they smoke something out of them. Let me get this straight. You are embarrassed to be seen with me? At the hospital. At the bar, we can hang out all we want. You rich, yacht-owning punk! You think they're gone? It's cool. See you at the bar. Oh, sweetie. Do you want me to call his mommy and tell her he's being mean to you? My friend is mean to me. Listen, honey, I know you're angry. But look what I found in my locker a wad of cash. Now you can buy those shoes you always wanted. I'm not mad about that gym thing. Sign this, please. Any of you ladies have a pen? Woo! No! You set me up! Baby, you are mad. Look, it's not a crime for me to want to have one place that I can hang out by myself. Turk, I am not mad, okay? Now staple these, please. 
Anybody got a stapler? Hey? Hey? I promised myself I wouldn't pick on Keith, but this one he had coming. Okay, guys, gather round. Gather round. Your hero, Keith, here, forgot to check the blood levels on Mr. Joy this morning. And guess what? He's dead. Way to go there, Keith. I've never even seen this guy before. Oh, way to get to know your patients there, murderer. There's Mr. Joy. J.D., did you steal him from the morgue? Doug, I left a note on the decapitated guy's stomp that I would have him back by 2. It is 1.45. Now I have to take him back down to the basement. I don't even have my gurney. I hate dead people. All right. The real reason that I brought Mr. Joy up here was for a teaching exercise. Can anyone figure out what the cause of death may have been? Maybe when you leaned over to check his IV, you smothered him to death with one of your love handles. What did you say, Keith? Dr. Reed told me that if you picked on me, I should stand up for myself, and that you're very sensitive about your doughy physique. Well, I'm not. Please, no one help. He's not heavy at all. You know, Keith, I think out of professional decorum, we should refrain from talking about Dr. Reed. He's boinking her, everyone. That's why he gets special treatment. What did she say to do if I said that? Page her. Hello? I forgot how strong you are when you're mad. Hey, can I, uh, can I talk to you for a second? What's the matter, Sally? The vending machine's out of bras again? Nice. What's up, <laughs> What's up buddy? Well, nothing really. I, I just thought your friends over there might be interested in seeing this photo I took with my cell phone the other night. I'm going to airbrush friends forever. Then I'm going to hang these bad boys all over the hospital. Oh, you're walking him. Give it to me. You want it? Come and get it. Oh, oh come get it. Gentlemen, let's try to be professional. I left my gurney downstairs in the morgue. You're a superstar. You know one of them staples could kill me, woman. Well, you know what bothers me? You whining about me being in your space when you're the one who never wants to be alone. I mean, for that sake, you're not side by side toilets. This is a surprise for your birthday, okay? It's a surprise for me. You know what? Surprise! How about that? Okay? Doughy physique, Elliot. Doughy physique? Oh, the pear shaped shirt fits. Wear it. I'm ashamed of you, okay? Do you know how petty it is to get that personal? My own space, okay? Once we were dating, Elliot asked me to urinate on her. Around here, it can feel like good things never happen. Good to see you, old bird. Did I miss anything? I'll catch you up later. Of course, when they do, all the petty little arguments fade away. And you don't mind waiting a little longer for your workout. Or your bar friend not being your work friend. <laughs>